Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. Today is officially the 200th video. You know, if you go back and watch video one, and now you watch today's video, you're going to notice the difference because the objective here was to just do the first 30 days of videos. I said, I'm not good. I don't have any experience doing this YouTube stuff. I went online on Amazon. I bought a Sony camera with a little microphone. I don't have the big one, you know, and, and no editing equipment. None of these videos are ever edited. And I said, you watch my first video. It's not going to be very good. And it wasn't. It wasn't very good, but it was the best I could do based on my understanding at the time. You should watch my 30th video. It's way better than the first video. And now I'm on my 200th video and I'm doing this like it's nothing, you know, and I'm not editing any videos yet or doing anything like that. The purpose of this was to prove you don't have to have specialized knowledge or experience to be successful at anything. You just need to show up every single day and put forth the effort and never quit. I can't tell you how many times I've sat here and thought, oh boy, today I just don't feel like doing a video. I don't have it in me. My brain's not working the way I want it to. I'm not speaking the way I feel like I need to speak in order to do these videos. I'm just going to go back and do something else, you know, and this is a bad idea. Nobody's going to watch my videos anyway. Well, you know what? A little over five months later, we have 83,000 subscribers on this channel. So somebody's watching and I gotta tell you, it just tickles me to death. And I wanna thank you so much for supporting me. Um, I didn't know how I was gonna get to day three, honestly. I remember sitting here in the same chair thinking, wow, maybe someday I'll have like 200 videos. Well, now I do. And I'm not gonna quit. I've come back every single day for the last 200 days. It's taken me 200 days to do 200 videos. I haven't skipped a single day. I've come back every single day and I feel like I'm so much better than I was on day one. And I got to tell you, that's the deal. You never quit. No matter what it is you think you're capable of, show up, do the best you can, and in time you will improve. You will get better and you'll be the best you can be and that's all you need to be is the best you can be. And you know, sometimes when we step out and try to achieve our dreams and goals, we can get to a point where we feel like, hey, this may not be the best thing for me or I just can't do it, but you gotta push forward. What really hurts is when somebody outside of us says, hey, you can't do that. That's not very good. You know, maybe you want to try something a little different. And it hurts because these are our dreams and goals. So the next time you step out to chase your dreams and someone laughs at you or ridicules you, I want you to remember this wonderful little note that I have for you, okay? You are capable of, of achieving anything you desire. And I have a little note here just for you, and it was written just for you, okay? So once upon a time, there was a fellow named Al Cap who wrote a comic strip called Little Abner. Many years ago, he had some characters in his strip who lived in a town near Dogpatch. They were the town bums, the ne'er-do-wells, the failures, whose whole aim in life was to pass judgment on others. Their criticism and ridicule became so vehement that in time, the rest of the people in the town became acutely conscious of it. Known as the boys down at the stable, that well, that's what they were called because that's where they spent most of their time, soon set the standards for the whole town. Nobody could do anything without their sanction. Because they lived within the structure of their crummy little worlds, they would laugh and point their fingers at anyone and everyone who tried to be better than they were. And as a result, the people feared the ridicule of the boys down at the stable so much, they stopped trying. Soon everybody became bums and, of course, the town died. Now, in every social structure, whether it be a family, a town, a county, or a state, there are always going to be the boys down at the stable. They are the jealous ones. They are too scared to try something different, and they show their ignorance by laughing at those who do. Learn to recognize them for what they are. Don't let them hurt you. 
it takes a certain amount of toughness to succeed. One has to rise above those who would tear them down and laugh at them and say, I told you so. You know, there are too many of us out here, including me, that want to see you make it. And I'm going to put myself at the top of that list because I know you can do it. And I want to see you do big things. You know, you aren't going to fall flat on your face as they would have you. You know, you are going to do a superb job. You know, remember, you, this is just a small step in the, in the direction of greater things that you're going to do. And many of which are beyond your wildest dreams. You have no idea as you're moving down the road towards your goals and dreams, how wonderful, amazing, and fantastic your future life is going to be. All you have to do is want to try. And one of the things I like best is that you always give it your best. And that means a lot because that's all you need. Just give it your best and you can do it. You know, you're going to be a success because of you and because of others around you who try. You know, you are the winner. You know, the losers are gathered down at the stable laughing and hoping for your failure. You know, and if we could dig down deep inside them, I'm sure we'd find that they want to win also, but they're just too scared to try. And they attempt to cover up their own failures as human beings by laughing at others. And in a sense, I do feel sorry for them. Their guilt must make them very unhappy people. But friend... As you keep setting goals and as you keep working towards them, there are beautiful and wonderful things that are headed your way. I know you can do it. You just have to never give up. You have to keep trying. And you know what? Every day is not going to be a motivated day. Every moment you're not going to feel like, hey, you know, this is going extremely well. And, you know, you're just a, a stone rolling downhill. Sometimes there's some uphill paths we have to take as well. But you know what? If you don't quit, you just keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep moving towards your given dream, goal, or desire. You will get there. And you will have the life that you deserve to have. You know why? Because you're worth it. And you're amazing. Friends, I want to thank you for being a part of my, my 200th video. And for supporting me. And I hope you have a beautiful day. Hey, I care about you. And I'll be back tomorrow.